What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am MLB Chatterbox. My name is Christian Corey. Some big news, breaking news coming out of New York. Guys, I just want to clarify the reason why I did this video in a bed is because it literally broke at night when I was in bed. I'm uh, at my aunt's house. I'm going to be going to the third game of the Tigers and Indian series with her. Uh, so look out for that. I'm spending uh, the weekend with her, Easter weekend with her. So, um, yeah, that's kind of why the background's different and I'm not uh, in the cave uh, like I usually am. So I just want to clarify that one. Finally, Francisco Lindor has made up his little ignorant mind. Uh, he has decided to sign back or stay with the Mets for an extended period of time. He signed, according to first by John Heyman, our dumb friend from MLB Network, who really sucks. The guy is truly an idiot. I don't really believe what he says, but it was confirmed by our friend Jeff Passon, so I have to report about it, obviously. I would never report about anything that was solely reported from John Heyman. I mean, first it was 340, then it was 341, then it was 342, then it went down to 340 again, then went back up to 341. It was all over the board when it comes to years and numbers, um, but we finally decided and settled on a number, a reported number by Jeff Passon, and that number is 10 years, $341 million, which means he does exceed and technically beat uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. contract when it comes to the salary. Fernando Tatis Jr. signed a 12-year, $340 million contract with the Padres earlier this offseason uh, before spring training started. And now a day before opening day, Francisco Lindor signs an extension with the Mets that is reported to be worth $341 million uh, for 10 years. Now, first of all, aside from the fact that, you know, he's now the third richest player in MLB history behind Mookie Betts and uh, Mike Trout, I mean, the Mets had to do it, right? Stephen Cohen was talking about, oh, we're going to spend, we're going to spend, we're going to, you know, we're going to make the big moves. And like I said before, prior to this, move. They have not made a lot of great splashes when it comes to signing guys. Yes, they signed James McCann to an astronomical amount of money. In my mind, obviously, they overpaid for him. I mean, they could have got JT Ramuto. That was their first choice. They couldn't steal him from the Phillies, so they settled for seconds in James McCann, but paid him JT Ramuto type of prices. So that's ridiculous. But aside from that, Stephen Cohen did not live up to the hype and the promise that he, you know, was telling Mets fans this whole time that we're going to spend, we're going to spend. Again, like I said, they had to make this move in order for anybody to consider this offseason an accomplishment. Um, because again, they got Carrasco and Lindor via trade from Cleveland. Carrasco's out for whatever it is, six to eight weeks or something. And Lindor was only going to be here for a year if they did not extend him. And they did. So good for them. Uh... A little bit overpaid, probably, but you know what? Who cares? Everybody gets overpaid nowadays. You had to do it if you're the Mets. Am I right? You had to do it. So I like this signing. I mean, is it astronomical? Yes. Is it ridiculous amount of money? Yes. Am I used to it? Yes. Is this surprising? No. Did I really think Lindor was going to totally cut off, you know, negotiation talks and extension talks with the Mets the minute, you know, pitch one was thrown in New York? No, I don't think so. I think that's a bunch of... BS that Francisco Lindor just put out there so he could just, you know, make a little more pressure on Steve Cohen just to get his price right. And really, you know, the Mets, yeah, they paid up. They wanted to pay him $300 million flat. Um, really, they would like to go under that $300 million mark. They really wanted to be at like 280, uh, 285, 290. But, you know, Francisco Lindor, credit to him, got him up to 341 which, hey, you're the third richest player in Major League Baseball history. He really wanted to get over that 340 mark and just make sure he's the third, you know, highest paid player in MLB history. That's the reason why they went to 341, because Stephen Cohen was talking a bunch of crap in the offseason about how they're going to spend and spend and spend. And Lindor's like, OK, you know, you know, shoot me your best shot. Let me see. Let me see how much you're willing to spend. And Stephen Cohen, to his credit, he stepped up. He talked the talk, and he walked the walk, and he spent the money. 
and that's great for the Mets. They got a they got a shortstop, which is great. Um, will it bite them in the butt in the next five six years? Yeah, we'll bite them in the butt. Of course it will. Same thing with Fernando Tatis Jr. I mean, people were freaking out that he got paid three hundred and forty million. I mean, people should be freaking out that this guy who's I think older is getting paid three hundred forty one. So it is it, it, it's all you know it's all BS when it comes to. Uh, this whole numbers game. It's all numbers game. Everybody wants to be number one, highest paid player, highest paid this, highest paid that. I mean, Lindor didn't care if he was with the Mets or not. He would, he would have gone to the Dodgers if they offered him $341 million. It wouldn't have mattered to him. He doesn't care. He wants the money. It's the way it is. And, you know, he has a right to get the money. But good, good for him, good for the Mets. Mets fans should be happy. Uh, they got this guy locked up forever. <laughs> and um, uh, I don't think there's any options or any club options or any opt-outs in this contract, as we know of in early, early reports. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts of this massive deal uh, from the Mets, uh, giving Francisco Lindor, their shortstop, a 10-year, $341 million extension uh, right before opening day. Alrighty, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.